Okay guys, now that we've removed the line, we are free to flush the AC system out. And we're going to start back there with the evaporator that's behind the dash. Flush those two lines out. We're going to flush it from the inlet and let it drain out of the outlet. And we're going to be using this AC Pro Power Clean and Flush. We'll spray can a little nozzle on it we'll flush that up in there and then shoot it all out with some clean air from the air compressor uh, you want to make sure you drain your air compressor there's no water condensation in there in the lines because you want to keep this system as dry and clean as free as possible get my hose set up all right you definitely want to be wearing gloves while you do this and goggles safety goggles we're going to be putting it in here which is the inlet and then it'll come out here the outlet but we want to drain it into something so i'm going to use this little jug put it up in there so we can keep a hold of all the old oil and contaminants and stuff. And let's see. Make sure this goes up in there real good. And just flush it out until we can see some fluid come out the outlet. There we go. Here. All right, now it's coming out the other end, so we've got quite a bit in there. It looks like it's coming out pretty clean, so that's what they tell you. Flush it out till you see clean fluid coming out the other end. Now we can blow that out with air. You sit, it, you leave it sit there for a minute, and then we'll flush out the rest of that fluid that's up inside there and it came out pretty clean so I, I'm in I'm happy to see that all right now we'll take our air hose this is gonna be trickier than it looks I'm shooting off about 90 PSI of dry air in there to help clean it out, blow any contaminants out, any particles out, the rest of the oil, old oil. So I'm going to blow that out one or two more times and then we will be done with the evaporator flushing. So we'll put our jug back in there. Now, we can get onto the lines and start flushing those out. Alright, so I've removed the line from the truck so it'll be easier. Now I'm going to spray the AC Pro flush through this line until it comes out over there clear. And then I'll be flushing that out with air, dried air, um, from the compressor at about 90 PSI. 
make sure this is all clean and free of oil and any kind of particles in there so let me grab the AC flush real quick while I sit y'all down here all right we got clean fluid coming out so this should be pretty good there couple more times make sure we got as much of the liquid out as we can get all right that's one line done all clean and fresh so we got two more lines to do, and then we'll be done with the flushing. We got a high pressure line to do, and then this low pressure line here. I'll take this out, and we'll flush this one as well. But you got the gist of how to flush your system out. You start with the evaporator back there it don't matter where you start but you want to definitely flush out the evaporator get all the old oil and contaminants out of there then your lines um, some people will say flush the condenser out too but that's practically impossible with modern day engines and stuff the way they're built they're just too small of air gaps in there you'll you'll never really get to flush that properly it's better to just go buy one and then that's it that's AC flush is pretty simple so you got the gist of how to do it I'm gonna flush the last two lines off camera and uh, then we can start putting this all back together I'll show you the kit that I ordered and what all came with it and how much and everything and how to fill it up with fresh pag oil we're going to be using pag 46 and go from there so stay with us 